Okay, up next, let's give it up for Robert Main. Merci, bonsoir. Bonsoir, je m'appelle Robert Larica et ce soir je fais le stand-up comedy en Minnesota. Oui. Voilà. Bonjour, je m'appelle Robert Larica et aujourd'hui je serai un chauffeur en Minnesota. Il est 7 heures le matin, un mercredi. Bienvenue à Lac Bédé-Makaska. Il fait très beau et on a plein de soleil à côté de la lac. Lac Bédé-Makaska, c'est le mot américain indigène qui veut dire White Earth, le terre blanc. <rire> si c'est pas un nom de raciste, j'ai pas. Mais c'est très raciste à mon avis. Et on a déjà un client. Excellent. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Sorry, were you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you need any hand sanitizer or do you want me to shut that window? Yeah, yeah sorry, no problem. Everybody's different. You want the windows up? Uh, yeah. No problem. A uh, special route or should I just follow the GPS? You can just follow the GPS. Got it. There's a bottle of water back there for you. Help yourself if you want it. Hi, Bucky. Okay. Anything you want to listen to on the radio? No, whatever you want. It's fine. I'm trying to brush up on my Spanish. <laughs> Je trouve que le, les infos sont beaucoup mieux en espagnol parce que je comprends rien. You ever driven to Mankato or Duluth? Like, you know, and sometimes you're just like, wow, it's really beautiful here. It's kind of the same thing in France. Yeah, the scenery is beautiful there like it is here. It's just like... Every once in a while, you'll pass a house that's 400 years old instead of 40 years old. You know, so there's a lot more. Yeah, I was driving through this old village this summer and I was just thinking like, they're never gonna put a freeway through here. It's not like this is gonna develop more. The roads are too small in certain places. They don't care. They're not gonna fix it. They're like, it's fine. We don't want more people. The food is, you don't understand. It's like, how good it is it's uh i mean just the fruits and vegetables taste better you don't understand how good a grilled cheese sandwich is until the cheese has bacteria in it you know here it's got to be pasteurized and when you pasteurize it you lose the flavor stinky cheese on this bread that is warm and fresh and it's got fresh butter on it and maybe just a little piece of like ham or whatever you know you put a little sausage on there and then you take a drink of wine and the wine is like it's as sweet as grape juice but not sweet because it's got full flavor like like you got a mouth full of grapes in your mouth so it's it's, it's something that they understand and we don't understand <laughs> Like, it's better not to work and take the time off and... Yeah. I'm sorry, that was a tirade. No, you didn't. No? It's okay. <laughs> I love cheese so much, so I'll probably fall in love with it all. Even more. Yo, I'd get arrested if, I, if they would... <laughs> if I tried to bring the good cheese back, you know? <laughs> you have some good cheese. You can't, you can't bring fruit. When you're standing at the airport, they have a little dog come around and empty everybody's bag. So even if you forgot something. Yeah. Oh, wow. No forgetting. Abonnez-vous. On va se voir bientôt. Quelqu'un derrière moi. Debt collector, one lady did ask me to drink, so. Probably because I cut her bill in half. <laughs> so, <laughs> hi. Uh, my name is Robert, and uh, I, um, just, I got back from spending two months in France, um, and while I was there, I did wear sandals with socks. 
uh, it's the fashion capital of the world, but it's okay. Uh, every time somebody looked at me up and down, uh, I just started speaking German, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass us over there. <laughs> so I was just like, Wie geht's? Wo ist mein Auto? <laughs> I'll hit her! <laughs> All right, that's, maybe that's too much. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Why are you not asleep yet?